You ever been stuck in the mud or just in a bad situation while you're on the trail? We all have, and you always have to use your winch. Well, today we're going to show you how to properly use your winch. First thing, reach in, click your winch on free spool. That way you don't have to winch it all the way out. Just pull it out. Might have a little bit of mud, dirt, debris on it. Sometimes it gets tough. And as you can see how our machine's positioned, we got plenty of trees in front of us. Not every situation is going to be the same, but we're going to go to this tree right here. And we're all guilty of it. We'll get our winch out. We'll wrap it right around the tree, hook it back to itself. So this right here is a good way to break a winch rope, but this is not the correct way, you know, to hook a winch up, to pull your machine out. A lot of times you'll end up breaking the rope and then you're even more stuck than you already were. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a snatch block, a tree saver, and a clevis, and I'm gonna show you guys the proper way to use a winch. So we're up here to our tree that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab a tree saver. That's all it is right there, it's a strap. Then we have a snatch block. You see it's got a pulley on it. It separates in two positions there. We got a clevis hook. So what I like to do, let's go ahead and throw these in my pocket. Have them ready to go. Go ahead and get our winch rope unclipped and off the tree here. That is not the right way to do this. So we'll take the tree saver. Wrap it around the tree. Now, if you're trying to pull your machine up, you know, if you're going up a hill, the higher you can get it, the better. You know, if you're just pulling straight, middle, you know, kind of lower. Either way, it all depends on what situation you have your machine in. So we'll just take one side of the tree saver, slide it through the other just like that. Get it positioned straight. Just pull on it a little bit. And we'll grab a clevis hook. So go ahead and pull our pin out. Take our clevis. We'll just loop it right through so that the part where the pin ends right out here. Grab our snatch block, we'll kind of let that hang down. We'll go ahead and get our winch rope. We'll run it right through our pulley here, just like that. So at this point, you should have your rope running through, just like so. We'll go back over here to our clevis. Take our pin, slide it through both holes on the snatch block, just like that, and thread it in. We we'll wanna go ahead and get this tight. So we're all staged up on the tree here. So with our winch in free spool mode, we're just gonna free spool it. We're gonna go right back to our machine. On our Super ATV heavy duty winch ready bumper, we already have clevises that come with the bumper. That's awesome for using a winch. It's the best way to do it. If you don't have a winch or just looking to upgrade, Super ATV has a full line of Black Ops series winches to help make your machine built for battle. So now if you look at our setup, we have our winch rope coming out of our winch, running to our snatch block through the pulley and then back to the machine. So what that does, that doubles the strength of this winch. So for instance, if we had a 5,000 in here, a 6,000, 45, you double it. You know, so you can have a 12,000 pounds of pulling capacity right there. So we're all set. We're gonna go ahead and click our winch back in the lock mode. Make sure it's locked good. We'll hop in the machine, come in here, we'll winch in. So if you watch how this works, it's gonna just feed the rope right through the pulley. So you can see it's pulling our machine right towards it. And if you listen to the winch, you can hear it. It's not, it's not straining the winch, you know, and this is a this is a pretty heavy machine here. And there you have it, guys. That's the proper way to use a winch. For more tips and tricks, be sure to check out our YouTube page. Thanks for watching.